what is up guys this is godlike matt now this video is something a little different i'm taking a very brief break from my brutal playthrough because god knows i need it and see the thing is i knew my brutal playthrough was going to take a really long time and then i have to beat it again on the speed run and i was like fuck i'm getting so impatient i want my goddamn platinum so then i thought to myself you don't even need those trophies you don't need the speedrun trophy or the brutal playthrough trophy to platinum you just need to speedrun three levels and that's what this video is going to be about so the first level that the game expects you to speedrun is chapter five which is the one i'm on right now and you have to clear it in less than 10 minutes for the first trophy and what you just saw right there was me trying to see if I can activate my uh, rewards so I can put on specific weapons, but I couldn't. Um, I was testing that for the first time, and uh, although this isn't my first attempt at speedrunning this level. And the reason for that being, um, actually just a quick tip before you guys, before I get into that. Um, this segment I'm doing right now where I'm scaling the castle wall, you have to do two different wall scaling segments they're both back to back you, as soon as you finish this one you got to do another one right after and then you reach the first fight now my tip to you is if you guys take too long in this part or die just restart like just restart the fucking level or actually i think if you just restart checkpoint the timer will just reset and you'll be fine but you'll have to do it before you die i believe but um yeah so as i was saying i've actually this attempt you're seeing me do right now, as you can see, it's like near perfect. I'm not making any mistakes and I'm going as fast as possible. Yeah, there's a reason for that. I must have retried this speed run, speedrunning of this level. Like, uh, this was probably my fifth attempt at it. And the reason why it took me so many times is because the trophies actually don't specify, but you have to do these trophies on uh, speedrun mode. You can't just complete chapter 5 in less than 10 minutes on the normal playthrough of the campaign. It has to be on practice speed run mode. And if you don't, like if you don't see that clock in the top right there, it doesn't count. I, I don't know why. Like, it makes sense. I get... I guess I get why it is. But I wish the trophy would tell you because I must have did it like four times before finally figuring out that it needed to be on fucking speedrun mode because I kept finishing the level and I was like, why the fuck, where's my trophy? God damn it. So, after all that, now, uh, where I just died, it's cool because you checkpoint right there. And as you probably noticed, you can run past that entire first room. You don't need to kill anyone. Uh, well, actually, I recommend killing maybe one or two guys because there are some rooms, like the one you're seeing me run through now, where if you... If I didn't kill those two guys as soon as I ran in, uh, they would have gunned me down and I would have had too low health to make it to where I am right now. So, for all the footage you're about to see, I recommend following it to a T. Like, mimic me perfectly. Do everything I'm doing exactly the way I'm doing it. Because that's how you get through this without any problems, really. But, uh... Yeah, as long as you have enough health when you make it to that cutscene you just saw, it's like, you, you won't die. I think you can actually die during the cutscene, though, if you get gunned down too much. Because I was still losing health while the cutscene was playing, so that was odd. But you can run past all these guys, too. You don't need to fight anyone. Um, so far, I've only killed, I think, uh, three people. And uh, one of them wasn't really necessary, but I just did it because... He was really annoying and my health was super low. But, uh, yeah, just wait for this guy to stop shooting. And I don't... I'm, I'm pretty sure you gotta blow him up. I mean, I've never done this part not blowing him up, so... I would do it. I probably could have beaten this level even faster than what you're about to see. Like, as you can see here, I'm trying so hard to pick up the AK ammo and I kept fucking up, so... Like, that was some wasted time. I would have liked to see exactly how fast I could have sp sped run, sped, sped, speed run this level. But, uh, I, could use a good plumber. I was, uh, that was just annoying, me trying to pick up the fucking AK. And, uh, yeah, um, another helpful tip, 
I recommend grabbing the West when you see it because you can just use it in this room and kill almost everyone with it. I missed a shot there though, that was shitty. But um, oh and another thing I highly recommend when you're doing these speedrun levels is uh, fucking put the difficulty on easy obviously because it just makes it way better. Now you can't put it on Explorer difficulty, I know that's the easiest difficulty, but the thing about Explorer difficulty is all trophies are disabled on that mode because it's too easy and they don't want earning trophies to be an absolute joke, so uh, the lowest you can go is easy mode, but easy mode is, as one would think, extremely easy, so it's, it's totally fine, but uh, yeah, so that was the last fight and once we get through this final little uh, I guess puzzle solving segment here we are done the level and uh, as I said I could have been a bit faster than I was but uh, some stupid stuff happened and yeah but yeah so that's more or less a uh, I mean I think I did pretty damn well even despite what happened now uh, the reason I made this video uh, as I said I got impatient and I was like, fuck this, I want the Platinum, so I'm just going to quickly speed run those three levels. Like, what's the big deal? It's only three levels and you're speed running them. It takes little to no time at all. It doesn't take very long at all. And those were the only trophies I had left on the main trophy list, so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just, I'm going to go Platinum right now. And, I, and uh, But don't worry, before I move on to Uncharted 2, I am still going to finish my Brutal playthrough as well as my speed run. I don't know in which order, because Brutal Mode is really pissing me off. I might do my speedrun next. I don't know. Either way, both of them are going to get down 100%, I promise you, so you can look forward to both of those. But yeah, I j the whole purpose for this video is, uh, for those of you who are watching my last Platinum, like the whole way through, and you're also going for the Platinum, this is for if you're impatient and you just want the Platinum right away like I did. Just because, like... When you know the Platinum is right in your fucking grasp and you can get it right now in a very short amount of time, you know, why the fuck not? Like, I, I agree. I, I would do it. Hell, I did it. You are seeing me do it right now. But, um, yeah, so this is the next level you have to speedrun. Chapter 12, I believe. It's the fucking one where you got a boat ride up the uh, river. Hmm. River yep, so I was, I was right. Chapter 12. Now, as I said, whenever you die, just restart checkpoint the second you die. Like, just pause the game, restart checkpoint. It'll put you back to before you die, and the clock will also reset, which is pretty nice. So even if you die and restart checkpoint, um, the, the, the clock won't keep building up. You'll reset the time. So it's like you never died at all. So because of that, I did this fully uncut I include all deaths there are a couple deaths if you hit even one of those barrels even on easy difficulty you will die so I don't know if a guy shooting a barrel near you would kill you in one hit I, I would I would think that you would live you just take a uh, bit of damage but if you actually hit one of the barrels with your boat or ski do whatever the fuck you want to call this thing jet ski uh you, you die in one hit, 100%, so do not hit the barrels. Now, because I'm super impatient, I just drive right past all of them, <laughs> but uh, if you want to go about this smart, I recommend, let's see, as you can see, I fucked up, <laughs> but if you want to do this smart, I recommend shooting the barrels as you see them rather than trying to fucking swerve around them like me because I'm an impatient, stupid asshole. Um, <coughs> you will... I mean, I know you're taking the time to shoot them, but uh, in all honesty, all three of these levels are pretty damn easy to speedrun. I'd say the hardest one was the one you just saw, Chapter 5. That's probably the hardest out of the three, and um, just because there's a lot of fighting in it. But you could skip so many of the fights, and you don't even really need to kill anyone. And since it's on e easy difficulty, it's really not that hard. All three levels give you several minutes more than you need so taking a little bit of time to shoot the barrels like you're seeing me do now it's totally fine like, don't worry about it so 
I recommend doing it. It's a pain in the ass to keep dying and keep getting set back. So do it, fucking bitch. Why? Because I said so. Mo -mo. But, uh, yeah, so we are about halfway through this level, I think. It's a pretty relatively short level. It's just fucking trial and error is the only annoying part. As you can see, my driving is superb. Just let me hit every single rock on the way up. It's not a big deal. But again, uh, I probably could have did this level faster, uh, similar to the last level I did. But, uh, I mean, that's that's not what these videos are for. I just want the fucking trophy. I, like, like, fucking props to all speedrunners out there who can fucking murder a game in record timing. I, I think that's awesome. And whenever I see a speedrun, they're extremely impressive. As you can see, I just got by there in the skin of my teeth. Um... But yeah, like, speedrunners are fucking awesome, totally respect them, and every time I see their work, it's like fucking crazy. They show you the game in a, in a perspective that you didn't even know existed, which is pretty damn awesome. I think it's really cool. But that's not what I'm going for. I get that this is a speedrun mode, but <laughs> fuck you, I just want the trophies. That's all I care about. That's all I ever fucking care about. That was pretty fucking funny, so I decided to include it. There's, uh... There's two paths to take in that chapter, and uh, I took the one on the left to see if I could make the jump. <laughs> you could not make that jump, food for thought. So don't do what I did. Chapter 16 is the one. So this is the last level you have to speed run. Um, it's also... Or no, uh, it's not the longest of the three. I think chapter 5 is the longest of the three. This one's just a little bit shorter, but... Um, this one has some fighting in it too, but most of the no, beginning no is just forward. running around. Yeah. Now, this room, the treasure vault, like, you gotta do a lot of um, problem solving at the beginning of this level. What like, there's not fighting place? until you're way into it. A really elaborate way to hide the and treasure. I don't actually know if I could have done this room faster. I I literally Which have no idea. Like, go? I did it the way I know how to do it, Wait but I don't second. actually know if there's a better way of doing it. So, if there is... And you know of it. Props to you. Totally utilize that. It's one of your strengths. And go for it. But me, I did it the way I know how to do it. I don't know if this is the only way to do it. Or if there's alternate ways. I have no idea. I'm not super knowledgeable about this specific room. But this is I'm pretty sure something. this is the way it has to be done. If I'm, I don't know though. I could be wrong. But this is me speedrunning. Chapter 16. So, as I said, most of it is just problem solving at the beginning, but. Yeah, and whenever you fucking die or run into an issue, just fucking restart checkpoint. Not a big deal, guys. But yeah, so just fucking. I think you gotta finish this one in less than 8 minutes, if I recall. And the level I did before this one, the one on the ski do. I didn't actually mention this, I don't think I did, but you have to do that level in under five minutes, which is really not that big, it's not that hard, because that one was pretty damn short. And, again, I think if memory serves, you have to complete this level in less than eight minutes. As you can see, I'm a fucking god, I'm so da goddamn impatient, and <laughs> I wanted to see if I could beat that thing. I could not! <laughs> As you can see. But, um, so yeah, unfortunately, I have to wait. You gotta love when games do that. The game's like, no, fuck you. You have to wait for me, bitch. And if you try to go fast at all, or try to not waste time, I will fucking murder you. That's the game, by the Sully, way. Sully, you read me? But, uh... Damn. Nothing. Yeah, again, uh, I think you have to finish this level in under 8 minutes, if memory serves. And you will see me do that. But... Yeah, so just speedrun those three levels, and those are... Uh, I think those are the only new trophies to the remastered edition of Drake's Fortune. Besides, shoot some B-roll for Elena. I think those are the only new trophies to the list. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are the only new ones, and everything else is the same. Uh, as the PS3 version. Whoa! Quick down a bit. Whoa! 
to you. It's all right. All good. <laughs> I'm okay. He was very floaty when he fell down. Didn't have much of a sense of gravity. He was odd. Looked like I was on the fucking moon. Okay. On the fucking moon. And there we go. So that's the only way I know how to fucking get out of this area. If there's a faster way, I have no idea. I've never thoroughly looked through that room. Like, this this is a big fucking room, and there's so many ways to go. I don't actually know if there's a better way of doing it. But that's how I know how to do it. And it does work. You do have enough time to finish the speedrun and get the trophy, okay. so... That's here. a thing. And what's pretty cool about speedrunning this level is you get a uh, gold trophy for it. Which is awesome. Awesome. But yeah, as I said, guys, once I finish, uh, once I finish, um, like, you, you guys are going to see this video as you're seeing it right now. And now that I'm done this video and showing you the platinum for all of you impatient motherfuckers like me, uh, I will continue with both my brutal playthrough and my speed run. Once I finish those two playthroughs, I will officially move on to Uncharted 2 with nothing else in the way. These cutscenes are kind of annoying, especially for moments like this, because this kind of specific hey, cutscene, it's like in-game, it's like an in-game cutscene, it's not really a cinematic cutscene, so you can't skip it, you can't pause it and skip, because it's like gameplay, as well as a cutscene on top. But, um, it took me a little bit to figure out how to... See, I wanted to know, see this was my first attempt at doing this room on a speedrun, and I was kind of trying to figure out uh, if I could only kill a few guys, run past all the guys, or if I had to kill more or less all the dudes. And I do end up killing all of them, it took me a couple deaths to figure out if that was an optimal way of doing it, as you can see. <laughs> But, um, God, it's so annoying in the moment, but watching me die afterward, after the fact, is really fucking funny. But, uh, yeah, it took me a couple tries to figure out how I should do this room. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna kill everybody. And I don't know if that's the fastest way of doing this room. As I said, all I care about is the fucking trophy, and as long as I'm under eight minutes, I'm good, bro, so... You actually do have enough time to kill everybody. That's how you choose to go about it. I mean, even on easy difficulty, there are just so many fucking guys in this room that you will die pretty easily if you try to run past them. So that's why I opted to just kill everybody. And the grenade launcher guy is certainly not helping. And there's fucking three grenade launcher guys in this room. Not just one. Like, th that's the first one, but then two more show up. So if you were to keep running, you'd, you'd have so much of an issue. That was the second one. But, uh, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm about a minute over halfway. So I'm a little over halfway. For the speed. But I do finish with enough time to spare. Um, if you know how to do this level perfectly, like, once you get past that beginning problem-solving area and then you get to this part... You kill everybody as fast as you can. Th this you realize this level is really not that short. And when I was doing the main playthrough, I kept thinking to myself, "Holy shit, you can beat Uncharted One in under two and a half hours? That's crazy!" I never even I can't even picture that in my head because every time I've ever played Uncharted One, the playthrough took me like a really long time. But now that I've actually played these three levels and seen how fast you can get through them, I actually believe it now. I think you. It's totally doable to uh, beat the game in under two and a half hours. And obviously it is, because it's a trophy. They wouldn't make it a trophy if you couldn't. But it just struck me as really surprising, because I, I couldn't visualize it in my head at all. You don't even realize how many fights you can run past that you, you don't need to kill anybody. And that's the fucking end of the level, guys. Once you get to this room for the big Eddie Raja fight. Um, that's the end of the chapter, so that's that. Final trophy. You guys can't see it pop because I'm recording this footage using my PS4. And for some reason, it just doesn't like to show when trophies pop up. I don't know why, but it's pretty fucking annoying. But, yeah, so that was that, guys. Speed run of the three levels that you need the trophies for. That's how you do them pretty perfectly. I mean, not perfectly. Pretty far from perfectly, but 
I still did it, and I got my trophy, so that's all I fucking care about. So thank you guys for watching. It was fun. Got my platinum, so if you guys are fucking impatient, tired of waiting for my videos, there you go. There's a platinum, if you haven't gotten it already. And I will definitely see you guys in the continuation of Brutal or my speedrun.